Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my youtube channel ambilal academy my name is bilal ahmed and today i am going to simulate the steam power plant and a cycle on which this steam power plant is working and that cycle is called as rankine cycle so in this video you will be learn about how to simulate a steam engine uh, with s pen plus and you will learn how to specify the pump heater and turbines this is the simple rankine cycle in which uh, the first component is pump and the water is pumped into the boiler using the pump water is vaporized in a boiler and becomes high pressure and temperature steam and then steam flows through a turbine and thus work and during this process the pressure and the temperature of the steam goes down and this steam is also partially condensed the steam is further cooled uh, to be condensed completely into the condenser and this cycle is repeated again and again now i will specify the every equipment of this whole cycle so first of all the boiler temperature is 300 degrees celsius while its pressure is 3 megapascal the high pressure steam is at the temperature of 300 degrees celsius pressure is 3 megapascal while its flow rate is 35 kilogram per second the discharge pressure of the turbine is 50 kPa. The condenser is working at a pressure of 50 kPa while the vapor fraction of the steam is zero at this stage. The discharge pressure of the pump is 3 MPa. This is the specification of every equipment and the stream of this cycle. Now I will simulate this cycle based on this specification. So let's go to the S Pen Plus now. Click on the new and select blank simulation and then create. Select the water as component. Now click on next. Now you have to select the property method. So for this purpose, I'm going to use the method assistant. Click on it. Then click the sp uh, specify the uh, component type and then click on uh, water only and again water only. And now it will recommend you some methods. IA PWS 95 steam tables. This is the method. I will use this method during the simulation. You can also use another uh, other type of the methods but I will prefer IAPWS. Now just select all here and select this method. Now you can run the simulation. No results are available. Now we can go to the simulation environment. Uh, but before I will show you some analysis. Go to this analysis tab and click on pure. Here I will specify the vapor pressure of the liquid which is represented by PL. This is the liquid vapor pressure. So just click on it and uh, unit of uh, the temperature is degree celsius and the uni unit of the pressure is let's say it is atm or you can select kpa uh, the starting point is zero while the end point i am fixing it at 100 kpa let's say and the number of uh, intervals are uh, 50 or you can uh, make an increment of 5 okay and i'm going to select water as component this is the atmospheric pressure and I will now run the analysis. This is the uh, vapor pressure versus temperature graph. You know that the boiling point of water at 1 atm is 100 degrees celsius. So as you can see when the pressure is uh, nearly 101 kPa uh, the boiling point of the water is 100 degrees celsius. So below this curve the water will be existing as vapor while upper of this curve this portion is in the liquid form. As you can see at uh, 100 degrees celsius well the pressure is uh, 101 kPa so when the temperature is 95 degrees celsius you are at this point and this is the liquid region while at the same pressure if the temperature becomes 105 degrees celsius the phase become vapor so you can uh, get the idea at what pressure and temperature you will get the vapor or liquid phase now I will uh, go to the simulation environment now I will draw the flow sheet go to the pressure changes and select pump now connect all of these equipments use the material stream pump to boiler boiler to turbine and then turbine to condenser and then condenser to pump you can rotate this no it is looking good now just change the name of the streams name it cool water this is uh, high pressure hp stream this is low pressure stream and this is just simply water specify the condition for this stream uh, hp stream 
temperature is uh, 300 degrees celsius pressure is 3 mega pascal flow rate is mass flow rate it is in kg per second and put 35 and mention the mass fraction and the mass fraction of water is 1 the specification of this stream is fixed now i will go to the main flow sheet and select boiler the temperature is 300 degrees celsius well the pressure is mega pascal and it is 3 mega pascal now i will select turbine select turbine and select here isentropic and discharge pressure is 50 kPa go to the conversion section and select vapor liquid now again go to the flow sheet and select the condenser we know the pressure and the vapor fraction so select vapor fraction the so pressure is 50 kPa and the vapor fraction is 0 now specify the pump conditions discharge pressure is 3 mega pascal now you can see that required information is complete now you just uh, click on the run now simulation is completed and results are available so just check the results now for boiler go to the results stream and check how much energy is required in megawatt so it is uh, 92.736 so i am just putting it here 92.736 now i will check, uh, check the heat requirement of condenser it is minus 74.69 now check for the pump work go to the results and electricity requirement is 0.146 now check for the uh, work produced by the turbine minus 18.2 now if you want to uh, find out the efficiency of this plant just click on uh, just find the network so network will be the sum of these two works so it is uh, 18.054 megawatt while the efficiency will be divide the network by heat input so the efficiency is 19% which is less than uh, 35% so you can obtain the 35% efficiency by changing the conditions of each and every equipment so this is your task try to change it and uh, if you obtain the 35 degree 35% uh, efficiency then do let me know in the comment section now i will show you the uh, stream results so in the stream results if you check the low pressure stream here you can see that vapor fraction is 92 it means that uh, after the turbine the stream will be in the two phase region 92% will be vapor while the 8% will be in the liquid phase and then this after condenser all of the steam is converted into the liquid so that's why here the molar fraction becomes vapor fraction becomes zero so that's all from today's video if you like my today's video then subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends allah hafiz